I'm just picturing the people in the space station popping open a beer and it just exploding everywhere. I don't know what would happen, but <laughs> that'll be a good experiment if they can see what happens. Right now, we are looking at a beautiful start to the weekend temperature wise. For late November, going to be a little bit above normal. We actually are already. Our KDK weather watchers uh, waking up with us on this Saturday morning. Lots of mild temperatures. People checking in with some 40 degree readings. Uh, right now, I think this is an older reading from Ken. Uniontown Bradley reporting 51 degrees. It's 50 at the airport. Kathleen and Clareton at 43 degrees. Ed Malecki and Natrona 47 degrees. And then 49 in Connellsville from Fred. Ashley and Butler waking up with 46 degrees this morning. Let's take a look at some other temperatures around the region. There you see, uh, well, maybe that reading from Ken is not too far off. Bedford is reporting 23 degrees, and he has a pretty accurate weather station. So maybe that 26 really is accurate. Look at the difference in the temperatures, though. 50 in Pittsburgh now. So you see that pocket of cooler air that's trapped right over the uh, central portion of Pennsylvania and then milder air as you head to the west and northwest. It's 47 in Wheeling, 47 in Butler and Indiana, as well as Latrobe. Only 40 in Waynesburg, a relatively cooler spot this morning. Here comes a cold front that is poised to cross right over the Ohio Pennsylvania border here, just into Lawrence County, just over the I 80 border there. And up into Mercer County. A couple of showers possible, but there's very dry air in place. So some of this showing up on the radar may not reach the ground, but still the chance that we could see a sprinkle in spots this morning. The better chance is going to be later this afternoon after this front passes. There's another trough of low pressure that's up to the north, sort of a double shot today of pieces of energy crossing over our region, and that may give us a better shot at just a couple of spotty showers, say from lunchtime on. Folks up to the north into western New York will have a better shot at maybe a little shower or two. We may get, uh, if anything, up to a tenth of an inch of rain at most over the next 24 hours from any of these showers. Future cast keeps us mainly dry but cloudy through the day. Winds will pick up behind this front. So this afternoon, the temperature will start to fall slowly. You'll notice it'll be blustery, wind gusts upwards of 20 miles per hour. And then after 5 o'clock, here you notice a chance at just a sprinkle, maybe a tenth of an inch of rain at the most. And again, when that colder air moves in, winds out of the northwest, here comes a chance that we may see some of this change into a few snow showers overnight tonight. So let's take a look at our uh, seven day forecast as we head into the overnight hours. Low of 31 tomorrow, only 41. So 10 degree drop between today and tomorrow. Look for a couple of spotty showers possible later this afternoon. Maybe a few rain snow showers overnight. Then tomorrow dry but colder. Look at the surge in temperatures. We're up to 58 Tuesday, Lisa. We could hit 60 in many spots to the south Tuesday. And then Friday, Saturday, next weekend looks a little chillier. You know, I'm just happy to see the lows are not in the 20s, but in the 30s. As a person who works the morning shift, I'm always and looking outside. at the lows. Yes. Exactly. Yeah, and it was pretty chilly. Two days ago, we were at 18, 19 for overnight I remember. starting points. And then yesterday, a little better, so moderating a bit. All right. Thanks mm -hmm. a lot, Kristen.